Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just legit got an arm workout from holding up this bag. This bag right here is from Kringle Candle and I'm so excited to share this haul with you guys. I went yesterday to their actual main store. I think where on the packaging it says they're made. Yep, in Bernardston. I went there. It's actually like within driving distance of me as is the Yankee Candle store, the flagship store. So I went there as well. They're kind of related. The founder of Yankee Candle's son founded Kringle and they're not related but like in that way they kind of are. So I got a ton of stuff. This is so heavy. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. This is going to be a giant haul. I've done a lot of candle videos and candle hauls lately. I'm obsessed. I need to get it out of my system. I'm like buying them for the whole year and just stocking up because they had a really good after Christmas sale. So many scents of theirs, even non-holiday ones, were 50% off. So it was incredible yesterday. I got so many things. I'm so excited and I'm gonna share it with you guys and I hope you're excited as well. I got a little daylight candle which are their mini ones. People call them like oversized tea lights. They're one and a quarter ounces. They're pretty big. Um, they actually last a long time like 12 hours it says so they look like this. Oh this one smells so good. This is an espresso crema and these are kind of big in the UK because they don't have like Bath and Body Works candles I guess so um, they'll buy these or order them online or I don't know a lot of like candle people are really into these so um, I got one of these once in lavender vanilla and it was like the best lavender vanilla ever I had to pick up another one even though this wasn't on sale this was full price at three dollars which isn't bad because they really last a long time they'll fill up a whole room with scent like my whole bedroom will be filled up or like if you use them in a bathroom or smaller spaces I haven't tried them in bigger spaces but I know they work in littler ones. So I got another one. I was so excited. I love that thing so much. I put it in a favorites video and it's gone. So I picked up lavender vanilla. This is better than the Bath and Body Works one because that one's just so strong. I almost can't stand it. This one's nice and delicate. It's more vanilla-y. It's more soft. So I picked up another one of that. Got Espresso Crema. A candle channel on here I've been so obsessed with lately is Gemma Michelle. She's awesome. So this was one the one she had gone through and she said it smelled like just like straight up coffee and it's... Oh, it does. It's so nice, but not like a fakey coffee smell, like a coffee shop. So I got that one. I also picked up leaves in a daylight candle. Most of these, everyone except the lavender vanilla, were 50% off. So these were 150, which really is not bad because, again, they last for a really long time. They're impressive. They're really bright. That's why they're called daylight candles. Oh my goodness. So this is leaves. It smells a lot like Bath and Body Works leaves. Oh my goodness. Just like a yummy kind of apple pumpkin scent. And even though it's January, I'm still so down for that. So I got that as well. It's delicious. And then they have a bunch of scents that are so out there and different. They'll have predictable stuff like lavender and coffee and pumpkin, but then they'll also have stuff like slate. Like what? And those were always the ones I was drawn to. I was saying to my mom, um, that like all of their scents there I really liked like everyone I smelled I really liked we had just come from Yankee Candle where a lot of them I don't like I would say more times than not I dislike the scent when I pick it up and smell it but at Kringle I liked all of them they seemed smoother um, they weren't as tart and sharp and a little bitter as Yankee sometimes like on cold sniff they'll just smell a little bitter or something or something will just be a little off for some reason but all these were just smoother Everything smelled amazing. I bought way more than I was expecting. So I really liked Kringle. Um, that store was beautiful. It was magical. If you ever get a chance to go to one, do it because it was lovely. Mm. But Slate smells like kind of cologne but also there's a sweetness going on. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. I don't even know how to explain that. Let's just go through the rest of my daylight candles. I got a lot because, again, on sale, really cute, um, you know, friendly for moving and like going back and forth they're plastic but they're really durable plastic and I was thinking when they're empty you could totally reuse them for uh like little pill containers or hair ties or change or like all sorts of practical things so I'll go through the rest of these I got peppermint cocoa which Gemma Michelle also really liked I actually burned this last night it was really nice the wick was a little off center so it didn't burn straight across even though I had it going for a while but I really love this combo. At Bath and Body Works for example they have like a cocoa scent and a peppermint scent but having them combine it's just so nice. It's not 
like a fakey smell. It smells very true to life, like a powdery cocoa and then some slight vanilla. This is Cozy Cabin, which smells a lot like Yankee Candle Mountain Lodge, which I adore. It's a little more woody though and like fire woody, but it's like a musky sort of like lumberjacky scent. I think they also had one here called Lumberjack, but it was way too like fiery smelling for me. This one is Sunflower and I got one with like, I had sunflowers on it from Bath and Byworks and I hate it. It was kind of citrusy and orangey. But this one's just like a very nice light floral. It's so nice. I believe all of their wax is white because they have like the brightest candles and like the cleanest wax, something like that they're kind of known for. So all the wax is white, which is very interesting. I don't really mind either way. I got Mystic Sands, which has these cool little rocks on the packaging. I love all these labels. They're just gorgeous. Mmm. This kind of smells like slate. It's like that cologne kind of guy smell mixed with something sweet, like a milkshake and cologne or something like that. It's really nice. Has sort of like a vanilla or like a creamy thing going on. Here's some more. I got coconut wood and I feel like I get a lot of coconut scents, but this was just like so unique and original. Oh, the wick's a little off center for this too. It's so bright, you can't see it. I hope that won't affect it too much. This is just so nice. It's not a super artificial smelling coconut. It's kind of light smelling. It's slightly tropical, but not in that fake sunscreen sort of smell. It just smells very nice, very natural, kind of light, relaxing. I got vanilla latte because I'm a coffee addict, duh, so I had to get both of the coffee scents. And this one's a lot sweeter. This kind of smells more like mocha latte swirl from Bath and Body Works, which I adore. That's actually what's on my tart warmer right now. You guys saw me clean that out in my DIY repurposing your candle jars video and I did end up using the wax because it smells so good It's like my favorite scent. This kind of smells like it but more of a stark vanilla scent whereas that one was more mocha That one had kind of like a very warm scent and this kind of has that too. It's not like outright coffee It's a little more subtle. Basil. Who makes a basil candle? They're the most incredible things. They had another a uh, sort of herby scent too that I thought was interesting but didn't get. Mm. It smells fresh like I'm walking through an herb garden. It's gonna be interesting to see what this smells like when I actually use it. But again, Kringle has like the funkiest smells. They're just so out there, but I end up loving them every time. And then I love this one so much, Archives. I actually got this in a bigger size for myself because I liked it so much and I'm getting this one for a friend because it's so unique smelling that I'm like, here, you need to smell this. So this is a gift. Oh my gosh. Looking at the cover, you'd think it would smell like old books, which please, someone make that candle. That'd be awesome. Or not old books, but like paper. And it just smells very sophisticated. Like I'm in a very smart person's like personal library curled up and they just made some like chai tea or something. Very sophisticated, has a sweetness to it, but smells very adulty. I just love it. Oh, here's my bigger one. Um, this is five ounces, so I'm not sure what they call this, the small jar maybe? So this is what those look like. These look like the little scent tester ones at Bath & Body Works. Oh, it has the notes on here. Orange, bergamot, floral, ylang, spice, cinnamon, tobacco, patchouli, and musk. It's very interesting. So these are normally $14.95, so this must have been seven something, so it was half off. So I love this size candle. Like, in my opinion, this is pretty much the perfect size for a candle because you get to try it out but it's not so much where you get sick of it. I love this smell. Not a lot of people make this size. It just smells amazing. I loved it so much. All right, let's get into the bigger candles. They're all wrapped up separately very nicely. This one's really nice too. I think I had it in a daylight candle in my basket and I put it back and got a bigger one because I really liked it. It's Autumn Rain, which is autumn greens, bergamot, jasmine, bamboo water, rain lily, and amber wood. And this is the same size. So I'll have a little matching collection. They have pretty colored glass. This smells kind of like how other candle places would make like a rain scent or like it smells very springy actually for autumn rain. It smells kind of like watermelon in a way or like some sort of cantaloupe melon citrus almost. And I got another one that size. This is gold and cashmere. This looks like it was a holiday scent. It's in like their front room so it was a featured one. This is golden sandalwood, mandarin, vanilla cream, butter rum, maple sugar, and musk. And I just love this one. Mm, it's so nice. It's like sweet. It smells like maple syrup mixed with orange juice or something. I don't know. <laughs> 
I, this could be burned any time of year, honestly. It's slightly floral. It's just a very nice. It smells very like clean and like it's not going to be super strong and aggressive. Now this is like their signature packaging, so it's funny I actually didn't get a lot of it. The lids are a little tough to close, but they are so pretty and symmetrical looking. So this is 4.5 ounces, so slightly smaller than this actually, but they're the same price. And this is in Coconut Snowflake. This is one of the first ones I picked up. It's shaved coconut, peppermint, buttercream, marshmallow, and toasted vanilla bean. So pretty much all of my favorite wintery collection scents. It's just so nice and unique and like really sweet, but also fruity. It's just amazing. I love this so much. I'm so excited. See, they're kind of hard to push in, but they look really, really nice. So I had to take a little break because my camera died and it was the last one I talked about. So I just lit up Coconut Snowflake and oh my God, guys, as soon as I lit it, you could smell it. I could even smell it downstairs. It spreads. It's really nice. It's light. It's so sweet. I'm in love with it. Like I'm almost regretting not picking up another one because it's going to be gone soon. So that's just burning back there. It smells freaking amazing and I can't wait to see how it works in my apartment um, because that's an even bigger space so it will you know spread all throughout even though it's filling up my room right now <sighs> it's amazing I love it so next up I think this one's a little bit bigger it's eight and a half ounces these are regularly $20.95 so it was $10.48 on sale how did I buy these yesterday and I already forgot so many things I got so this is a bigger one this is in ginger snow angel so another holiday one and it says the smells are crushed nutmeg ginger crystals brown sugar cinnamon and snow vanilla and I don't really like cinnamon and things or really gingerbready smells for some reason but this one was really nice oh just like hit myself trying to open this because it was sealed so tight. Ooh, that's nice though. Ooh, that reminds me of like lemon cookies or something. It's really nice. So I got a bigger one of these. Packaging on these is really cute. I just wish they weren't so like sticky. Like the seals are really strong. So it's really cool. And then this is the biggest one I got. This is my absolute favorite. Oh my gosh. These are normally $25. So it was half off. So it was $12.48. This is like their biggest size. This is 14 and a half ounces. And this is in their infamous fresh baked bread. Oh my God. I saw Gemma had this in her video. She said it actually did smell like fresh baked bread. And so I knew I had to go smell this in person. It smells amazing you guys it's a two wick candle i hope these burn well in the bigger size and they don't tunnel like yankee candles do when you get bigger ones oh my god that's like intoxicating i also want to burn this right now it smells so amazing it's such a unique smell why aren't there more like food scented candles like i would buy them people would love them they'd get them as gifts like it could be awesome oh my god my friend lives right next to a bakery and this is what it smells like when you walk out onto her street in the middle of the night and they're baking it smells amazing. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So clearly I got like the biggest one because I didn't want to run out of it. I almost like bought a mini one in addition just in case because it smells, oh my gosh, it's incredible you guys. You can see these are like two different shades of white wax. Like this one's a little more yellow so that's funny. So I guess that's the downside of having all white wax. They're all gonna have to be the perfect same shade of white. So that's everything I got. The sale was really amazing. I feel like at least half the store was 50% off. We got some like giant candy canes they had that were half off so they ended up being like 175 or something. They had funky flavors like eggnog and apple pie I think is what we got so I'm so excited I didn't even think I'd be able to pick one candle to burn first but I'm really happy with that one it smells amazing um it's a little dangerous because now I kind of want to eat like angel food cake or something that's kind of what it smells like mixed with coconut so I hope you guys enjoy this kind of video I did also go to Yankee Candle so I'm gonna film my giant haul from there as well if you like these kind of videos so keep an eye out for that thought I was gonna film it right after this but my battery is dying so I'm going to have to do it another day, but keep an eye out for that. Subscribe to my channel so you will be notified when that happens and turn on the little bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. The thought that anyone would do that is crazy because that's like amazing, but if you want to totally be an awesome subscriber, 
or you just like my videos and you like hauls, then definitely turn that on as well. I've been doing that for like all my favorite channels and it's actually so helpful so I don't have to like refresh their page every day if you know what I mean. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave me a comment down below if you've ever tried Kringle where you buy them. I know I saw them in like a gift shop where I go on vacation um, so I'm gonna have to find that gift shop but I'm obsessed with this place. This was probably the nearest one to me and it was still quite a drive. They do have online stuff. I think I saw a coupon code. They had like 20% off site-wide. So uh, maybe that's all in addition to the 50% off. I don't know. So you can also order online. So maybe I'll link a few things down below or something. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite thing I got was. And I will see you in my next video. Three, two, one, bam!